Hello! In this video, I would like to continue with presentation of conservation and adaptive reuse of industrial heritage in abandoned locations of Slovakia. When we look on the historical development of various charters supporting conservation of heritage, heritage as such, we can see that the first documents based on scientific principle they excluded participation of any other representatives. Dynamic developments in different areas of life have caused that the conservation and preservation of cultural and historical values have broader socio-economic uh, socio socio -economic dimensions. In this video, we will see how important it is to build a functional group of, represent of representatives of all key interests in context of conservation and reuse of industrial heritage. Corona crisis and the need for social distancing brought me on the idea to bring, to bring examples of industrial heritage their conservation and reuse in abandoned locations of Slovakia. During the spring period, people were looking for places where they could have found intimacy and social distance from crowds. Middle Slovakia and their large forest areas offer this possibility. Walking alone in the forest in Middle Slovakia, you may come across uh, such an such an object could you recognize what it could be what it is here is another picture maybe this could be more recognizable It is a dam called Teich. The name of uh, the name comes from German language, and its aim was to increase the flow of the river Hron when locks were transported down the river. The surrounding forests provide, provided and still provide a lot of wood but a sufficient amount of water was needed for its transport. The Teich was completed in 1896 and it also helped for transporting wood in log rides down steep mountain slopes. Here is a picture from, from the ruin uh, of, of, the, of the dam. And uh, there is written uh, the, the year 1896, so it was completed in 1896. And uh, there are still people who worked here and used this dam for transporting logs from the surrounding mountains uh, still in the 60s, 70s. It took two, three days. Uh, the dam was filled with water from a spring. This is a maquette, uh, how it used to look like. From 12 to 16 logs, they were put together, creating wooden rafts, as we can see on the picture. And it took three, four hours to come to Banska Bystrica, to the city, uh, about 65 kilometers away from the dam. In the 1970s and 80s, trucks began to be used intensively to transport timber. And since, the, since there, the dam was not used any longer. Since there, the dam was not used any longer. The local municipal, municipality or local municipal office initiated in 1995 a conservation and uh, 
project of adaptive reuse for this dam. The project was called Recreation Center Batuch, which is the name of the place of the village, uh, number one, and contained eight units. Uh, first was reconstruction of the dam with a small hydroelectric power, uh, power plant, fish pond, fish pond, restaurant with the name Teich, and a little hotel. According to the project, the small hydroelectric power plant was supposed to supply with electricity the restaurant, the new restaurant which was supposed to be built, the little hotel, and partially also the village. Later on, there were planned uh, a little museum of this region. By the implementation of this project, it was supposed to become a significant attraction for industrial tourism with new jobs for the region with high unemployment. For the locals, the would mean preserving a monument that is, a, that is of great value and uh, for the locals, it means a lot. It means a local history, culture, identity and uh, their life. But you can see that there is nothing from nothing what was, uh, what was made from, from this project. And you might will ask me or you might will ask yourself why was the project not implemented. The most effective way, according experience of many countries, with reuse and conservation of heritage with local value is its establishment of a steering group of uh, representatives, uh, which should it include representatives of all key local interests, as well as experts with financial legal business, technical and conservation skills. But according to the local people, this was not the case of this project and not all representatives of the group were following the same interest. In this example, we have seen an important moment in context of the capability to recognize potential of abandoned, of abandoned industrial heritage but without initiative for the transformation and without benefiting from it. Around 40 kilometers away from the place we were just talking about, there is an almost identical dam. The dam was built in 1881, so very similar period. There is few years difference between them two. And it was built for the transport of logs from the surrounding mountain, mountains down the spring. Later, and its aim was to increase the flow of the river when logs were transported. So in two, uh, in 2002 2003, the dam was restored by the Slovak Ministry Forest Department. Today, the lake offers fishing possibility for tourists, and as such, it is part of a forestry museum showing the work and life in surrounding forests. There is also a comfortab comfortable cycling path leading to the lake, offering a possibility for relax. Information about the history of the dam offers the information board on the dam. In this project of conservation, restoration and the reuse of, uh, of the industrial heritage was involved only one representative.
Slovak National Ministry Forest Department, and if of, it often means easier work with implementing projects. Uh, the Ministry Forest Department uh, initiates many educational projects and activities supporting the sustainable and ecological relationship of people to the forest. A part of its activities is also support by, is its support by conserving of local industrial heritage related to the project. On the picture, I would like to show you uh, the museum, open air museum, forestry museum, which is the initi initiative of ministry uh, of the ministry forest department, and uh, it shows their initiative how the projects can be implemented, how the projects can be, can be implemented for the people. This second example with the dam should demonstrate that regeneration of industrial heritage is feasible. 